Okay, what is this mess? Well, this mess is my Dell 4500S. What happened was the motherboard in this machine is acting up. Or it's the power supply, I really don't know. But I think it's the motherboard, quite frankly, and I'm going to try swapping it. I'm going to sort through all this when we get to the machine. But here's what I try on it. First of all, the graphics are glitching up. In Linux, it, it likes to... The video likes to go crazy and then for a, a split second or two. And everything lags at that point. And then when I try to end the XP again, see what happens. On the other power supply that was originally in this machine, it blue screened on me when I ran 3D Mark. Because quite frankly, all was probably stressful on the power supply. It's a good way to test it, make sure it was stable. Because of the power 3D Mark uses. And every test I ran, blue screened this thing. So I try another power supply, it doesn't blue screen it, but it just barely crashes. So, what I'm going to try now is I'm going to try a different motherboard and see if the results are different or anything else that happens. So, I've really put this together ahead of time to save a lot of trouble. So let's just dive right into it. First of all, the original motherboard sitting on the case, I've took everything out of it, the RAM, the, the connectors, the processor I've moved that over to the other board so I can just drop the new one in and then we're, I'm just gonna hook everything up and there's gonna be an update video after I get this board in I'm gonna run my 3D mark test hopefully this isn't yelling me for activation here's the old motherboard I don't know if this works or not I don't have any intent to find out Now, whatever you do, do not hook this power supply up to a non-Dell computer. I blew up a penny of three board doing this. Hey, I had a hazard phone with a possibly failing power supply. Possibly even sets failure in mine, too, but int unintentionally. Why not? Okay, we're done. Now it's time to hook everything. Now that everything's hooked up, I'm not going to hook the keyboard and mouse hot up on the video. I'm going to hook that up off the video, and we're going to see what happens. Okay, now if that's done, I want the words in. Let's run 3D Mark. 3D Mark 03 is what I'm using because it's a little more work on the graphics and it's the, and as I said I want to test it properly so you can only run one of three tests I already know that well, let's see what it does will crash Will I actually respond well? I hope this camera battery pulls through. Just barely crashed. I really am at a loss for words at this point what the problem is.
Interesting. It must have been that power supply. Three D mark score, but my little Dell only scored fifty five. What the? Serious? Seriously? Okay, I'm putting this compute this camera on the tripod and we're gonna take a look at the computer again internally. Um we're not gonna shut this thing down. I don't have time to do that. I gotta see this thing for our night. Seem to be connected, right? Um, I don't have any working volt meter to test it, unfortunately. But then again, I forgot to connect something, which is amazing. It turns on for that matter. I forgot to connect the front panel connector. <sighs> Screw it. Do this shit live. Never mind, I'm gonna shut down. Hold on, while this thing shuts down. Um, yeah, I'm gonna shut this down, hook it up, and call it there. Okay, now that I've hooked up that, you know, speed connector in the front. Let's see what happens. If it crashes this time, then I guess the five volt on the part of this power supply is on its way out, or it's starting to fail, if not being overloaded. Oh, the troubleshoot from there, but you gotta take baby steps first. Start small, then move up. Blah blah blah. I can only run one test. Nobody freaking cares. They can only run one test. Okay. Thanks, future Mark. Same thing happened, but I'll have to see if that USB glitch comes up again. Um, so far so good.
Yeah. Three D Mark One does not crash on either board, so that's why I'm using all three for these tests. So let's try that again and see what happens to this the old motherboard. Please note, I will not do this on camera because of how long it takes. It takes a good five or ten minutes to swap the boards out. I'm not going to film ten minutes of taking components out, putting them in a different board, and flip flopping boards. Okay, so I took that spare board out of the machine. I'm putting on the other board. Hopefully this works. Which it probably will. And then, I'll have to see what happens. Okay. Yeah. It's just documentation that I did take that, this board out. Or that spare board. Put my other or original board this machine. There, it's up. Don't load junk in your system and that runs as fast as this. I'm trying to own the. I'm trying to get the system that smart goes to. It's a whole lot better than the system that it's hooked up to now. It can support the resolution better. Same thing. Didn't cut out. <laughs> and blue screen. Um. Yeah. I think it was that power supply. Nonetheless, I don't know if it's going to be useful for much longer. Because remember, this machine's mode 2. It's going to be retired sooner or later. And yeah. I just don't know. I don't know if it could be reliable ever again. That's my main concern. But I'll use it as a as a backup machine most likely at this point. When I get the what well, if I can secure that other Dell. But I I know all about that machine. I know more I know enough about it to or to plan the video out, but I'm not going to talk about the details. That's all I'm going to say about it is that's an upcoming video.